How's it going my friends? I do hope you are having a wonderful day. Today's video is going to be a video on Full Bring Ichigo once again. Yes, once again. And Mugetsu because apparently it was not hammered in enough the first time I made this video more than five months ago. My friend Bleachub did make a video on Full Bring Ichigo vs. Donga Ichigo, which I will link in the description, but we going one step further, we directly talking about Mugetsu, and with that being said, let me just get right into this. So, to start off with this discussion about these forms, we have to go back to when it actually happens, when Ichigo does the final Getsu Gotensho. So, what is the final Getsu Gotensho? How did Ichigo get it? The final Getsu Gotensho is a technique that Ishin knows, apparently, might be something related to the Shiba clan, we are not aware, but... All we do know is that Ishin does know it. Then he says to Ichigo, all right, we have to train so he can get this final Getsu Getensho. He fights white tenses on Getsu, and then he does receive Mugetsu, or the final Getsu Getensho. Mugetsu is a move that he does within the final Getsu Getensho. Mugetsu is not the final Getsu Getensho. This is commonly just like misinterpreted, but the final Getsu Getensho is the black form that he does take. It's the form itself. So. What does the narrative consider to be Mugetsu? All the narrative considers Mugetsu to be is just a power that Ichigo got in exchange for his Soul Reaper powers. So, in this chapter summary right here that I'm going to be showing up, it literally says that he trades his Soul Reaper abilities to defeat Aizen, and then a sentence later it says Ichigo power that he, oh my god, Ichigo's powers that saved the town and his friends vanish. So, they do consider Mugetsu part of that power. So, pretty easily, we can be like, alright, if they ever said Ichigo is going to regain his powers, it would just be Mugetsu, since Mugetsu is just considered to be his powers. Which, funnily enough, within the rebooted souls, it just directly does reference Mugetsu to be Ichigo's sleeping powers. Ichigo has won the victory by releasing his sleeping powers in a new crisis. And then right below that, it literally shows full bring Shikai Ichigo saying, Everyone, you let me regain my strength when I lost my strength. So this might make you think, well, it's full bring Shikai then is when he regains his Shinigami powers or just his Mugetsu levels of power. However, that wouldn't be the most accurate. So, the reason why this isn't the most accurate is because his full bring itself is at that level of power. However, it's a new power and is not his actual Shinigami powers. So, while he did regain his powers, being the level of power of Mugetsu, he did not regain his Soul Reaper powers at that time. His Soul Reaper powers did meld with his full bring, but that was just not strictly his shinigami powers predominantly his shinigami powers which his full bring shikai is his full bring literally is less apparent than what it was before it literally is just the inverse of what happened before the full bring was dominant and the soul reaper powers fused with it now the soul reaper powers are dominant and the full bring power just fused with it literally just the exact same thing but now he has soul reaper powers so and unmasked as well, it does just literally says, in return for obtaining a largely unmatched power, he loses his Shinigami powers. So the narrative itself, on multiple different occasions, just references Mugetsu as Ichigo's powers. Which, when Kugo then says, well, I'm here to help you regain your powers, you will literally just be like, okay. So he's now going to be regaining the power of Mugetsu. So... This is literally also shown repeatedly when they just reference Mugetsu as the power that he sacrificed. And then it's saying that Ichigo is now going to regain his powers. And then the narrative literally says that Ichigo got his powers back just for them to be stolen. So right here, you're going to be able to see that Ichigo continues to train for his full bring, But then it's a dark ploy. And his powers are once again stolen. So this does confirm that Ishigo did regain his powers. Just pretty directly. So Full Bring is confirmed to be that power. He got his Mugetsu powers back. Pretty point blank and simple. So the anime directly shows Mugetsu when it is first introducing his Full Bring. I'm just going to throw it up right here. And you will literally see Mugetsu. Him getting stabbed by Tenzin Getsu, him breaking Black Coffin, everything, 
up to Mugetsu is literally shown when Ichigo is remembering his powers. Pretty direct. When he's training with Jackie, he does remember his fight with Aizen and him using Mugetsu as being how he did get stronger and how he sharpened his mind up till this point. Another time is right before their training where he literally says, I rush into battle and that's how I've grown stronger until now. Literally also shows Mugetsu. Multiple different occasions, they show Mugetsu when they're referencing Ichigo's powers. So the anime makes it even worse. Even worse. So another nail on the coffin is when he is in Full Bring Shikai. So... What, what is shown here is when Kugo references his power being suppressed, directly shows him going into Mugetsu and then him waking up regular day just yawning. So directly referencing Mugetsu again when they do reference his powers. So this is all just the narrative thing. So let's now go into the characters. Yes, gets even worse. So... The characters literally say that Ichigo will regain his powers. So, obviously they have to have a concept of Ichigo's powers to be able to make this claim. Kugo literally references Mugetsu when talking about his powers and how they are being suppressed by his Soul Reaper badge and how it is used to monitor him. And Tsukishima literally sees it when he's fighting with Ichigo and the reason they were able to beat Aizen being Tsukushima himself and given that Ichigo did lose his powers in this timeline as well that also does mean that Tsukushima most likely did fight fourth and fifth fusion Aizen alongside Ichigo so not only does Tsukushima know about Mugetsu he saw Mugetsu he fought alongside Mugetsu so just really really bad this as well as the fact that they were literally in Karakura town so they literally could just go up and walk and see it especially since these guys are so powerful they would have felt it Aizen literally just spurging around and then making his spiritual pressure be felt by them so it's pretty easy for them to just walk out go over there see the fight and they literally would have saw the fight because the only times we see them referencing it it's literally Mugetsu so yeah pretty cut and dry so another thing as well is that kugo when ichigo was training to complete his full bring literally says that you're going to gain powers beyond that of a soul reaper once your full bring and shinigami powers do meld this is the same terminology basically being used when aizen is literally like i have transcended both hollow and shinigami transcending mean being better in every aspect so being beyond literally just the same thing so another thing alongside this added on added on man bro this is already an eight minute video dude but even more so when kugo says that how much do you know about urahara urahara might be a threat he might be a villain Ichigo then is like, I need to regain my power soon, just in case Urahara is evil, I have to be able to defend myself, since if I just go up there right now, I don't have my powers, I'll literally just lose. So when Ichigo references him regaining his powers, it's not just his Shinigami powers, it's a certain level of power. So this is Ichigo's expectation, this is what we know, these characters that do know it directly reference his power and says, Oh, in your incomplete full bring, it gets closer to the power that you once had. Literally seeing his complete powers. And once he fully finishes his full bring, Tsukushima directly references that he is above what he even expected by several times. So let me just put this in a simple chain. So his full bring itself is equal to Mugetsu. Then he has his remnants of his Shinigami powers that will be added on to that, making it even stronger. Then there's the prediction of how strong Ichigo will be after that from training and doing whatever to attain full bring. This is the conception that Tsukushima has for how strong he's going to be. Ichigo then surpasses that by several times. So Ichigo is several times above Mugetsu 
when his full ring alone is equal to it and then he has shinigami powers added onto it and then he literally trains on top of that so ichigo with training the same level of power added on to shinigami powers is several times and he's several times above that Full bring Shikai and full bring Bankai is even worse because he literally gets even more powerful than that. So this has become a 10 minute video. I do hope it is very, very, very obvious now that full bring Ichigo is stronger than Mugetsu Ichigo. It is blatantly shown in the narrative. But, 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 but. I do know that some of you will still be skeptical. So, why don't I add on to the final nail in the coffin? Yuha himself. The one that planned all this. The one that led him over here. Literally shows. Cool go. When they are referencing Ichigo getting back the power that he used to defeat Aizen. It's just too much, too much to say it. There's literally just too much. Yuha says it to us. Literally, the narrative beats it down. We see Mugetsu four separate occasions. There's just no words to be had on something being like Mugetsu is above. The narrative doesn't consider it special. There's nothing about it that is better than Full Bring Ichigo. It's literally just shown in power cliffing. The next arc, they are power cliff because literally more than 10 months happened and literally Don Guy Ichigo is Ichigo with training. That's all it is. So I do hope you enjoyed this video. This has become a 12 minute video. Jesus Christ. If you did get it to this far, please like, comment, and subscribe. I have community posts where I literally post videos. So yeah, have a wonderful day. I'm out. Bye. The key to love is also loving yourself. Now, and love is a very complicated thing. Look at love like a game. Everything is a game. Look at love like a game. If, in order to, for your partner to respect you, you have to respect, respect yourself. But in the same context, you also have to compromise for them. So it's a very complicated uh, idea. I was disappointed because obviously no one will be able to compromise for me fully because I would give my all and put my all into things. And they would just, I would just never be compensated for the, the love I would give. So... As far as compromise, um, for one, don't put your pride, don't put your pride in the fucking relationship. Shit doesn't work. It makes the shit harder than it needs to be. It makes it complicated. It, it, it makes everything hard. Do not put your ego in a relationship. Do not be afraid to blow up your lover's phone. It's the ones that are annoying that love you. It's the ones that will sit there and, and, and blow, up you, blow you up for hours and check on you 24-7 and annoy the fuck out of you that kid. It's okay to be annoying. Don't try and publicize. Like, I, like, I'd say publicize your love in the same context. Like, show people you're happy. But when you start showing people what you've got going on in your personal life, that's when people feel the need to get involved. Or people get in the middle and fuck everything up. Keep your relationship to yourself.